age 764. It's been a year and a half since Goku and Frieza were thought to have perished during their battle on Namek. Goku's friends and family attempted to resurrect him with the Dragon Balls only to learn that he had survived. Unfortunately for the people of Earth, so did Frieza. After being adrift in space among the scattered remains of planet Namek, Frieza is found and rescued by his father, King Cold. After undergoing intense reconstructive surgery, Frieza is stronger than ever and rapidly approaching Earth. The Z-Warriors, sensing Frieza and another powerful evil energy drawing near, quickly converge and prepare a plan of defense. As Frieza, his father, and a battalion of soldiers emerge from their ship, Gohan, Vegeta, and the others embrace the possibility that they won't make it out of this battle alive. Just as all hope seems lost, Goku appears instantaneously using a new technique he learned on the planet Yardrat and quickly overpowers and kills Frieza and King Cold. After a nearly two-year conflict with the Saiyans and the Frieza Force, Goku is ready to finally enjoy peace with his friends and family. Age 766 After receiving an urgent message from Piccolo, Gohan rushes to his home in East District 439 to find all his friends and family waiting for him, even Vegeta. Goku has fallen victim to a strange new illness with no known cure. Gohan runs to his father's side, but it's too late. After countless adventures culminating in the discovery and avenging of his fellow Saiyans, Goku is dead. Six months later, on an island nine miles off of South City, a mysterious duo appears and begins to wreak havoc. The remaining Z-Warriors are quick to arrive and unfortunately just as quick to be slaughtered. Ten Shinhan, Chaozu, Yamcha, Krillin, Vegeta, and Piccolo all fall victim to a deadly pair of androids created by the Red Ribbon Army. As Piccolo falls, so does Kami, taking the Dragon Balls along with him. The only hope for the planet are Gohan and Vegeta's infant son, Trunks. And now I'm sad. Eighteen years after the battle with Frieza on planet Namek, Earth is a shell of what it used to be. With most of its population decimated by the androids, a grown-up Gohan is the last hope for the planet. Gohan has been training Bulma and the late Vegeta's son Trunks, knowing that if Trunks can ascend to the level of Super Saiyan, the two of them can finally end the androids' 14-year reign of terror. While Trunks is very powerful for his age, he struggles to find the motivation needed to trigger the Super Saiyan transformation. Until one day while training with Gohan, an explosion decimates a nearby city. Gohan transforms and prepares to engage, with Trunks insisting he's strong enough to help. Gohan seems to agree, but knocks Trunks unconscious while his guard is down. A few hours later, Trunks wakes up, unable to sense his master's key. He flies down to the nearby city, where he quickly discovers Gohan's remains. Devastated by the loss of his only friend and mentor, coupled with the realization that he is now the last hope for planet Earth, Trunks cries out into the blackened sky above, and the last Super Saiyan is born. Four years later, Trunks still finds himself unable to defeat the androids by himself, when his mother offers him a possible solution. For the last two decades, Bulma has been using what spare parts she can find, and combined with her genius intellect has constructed a time machine. With it, she hopes Trunks can go back in time to warn Goku and the others about the androids before they ever arrive and create a better future. The history of Trunks can't happen for one simple reason. The hair. It's the hair. What, you thought it'd be something else? That's all this whole series has been for years, nitpicking clothing and hairstyles to prove my point. Anyone who watches the vastly superior Dragon Ball Super knows that Trunks eventually comes back from the future so his daddy and Goku can bail him out of trouble again. And what color is his hair? In History of Trunks, his hair is purple. Purple is not blue, and you might be saying, but he just dyed his hair, but I say to you, that's impossible. The androids wiped out 90% of the Earth's population, making it extremely likely that everyone who makes hair dye, well, died. Plus, no one at any point acknowledges Trunks' blue hair as being weird, which suggests that it's always been blue, and considering Goku and Vegeta recently reached a Super Saiyan form that turns their hair blue, you'd think it might be something worth bringing up. 
If you'll turn your attention to Dragon Ball Z Volume 16, you'll notice on the cover art that Trunks' hair is indeed blue and it always has been. What most likely happened is Trunks going back in time at some point fractured reality in time as we know it, turning our memory of his blue hair to purple and turning the Berenstain Bears into the Berenstain Bears. And that's why History of Trunks can't happen.